How do we do the carb macro in a way that, that is doable and sustainable? You know, in keto, it's, it's crucial you count your carbs. Why do we not have to count these? Because everybody wants you to count. Hi, today's OFM instructional video is about how to count your carb macros. And, and with OFM, we're always striving to make this easy, doable, and sustainable in the context of your everyday life. And so we want to make this easy. We don't want you to try to shoot for perfection. And that's why we try to get you off the numbers. Use the numbers as a guide, but we want to make this so you're not going nuts trying to count your carbs, feed it into your app, and make sure you're doing it perfect. Because that sets up not only um, a recipe for failure and unsustainability, but it's also going to create a lot of stress. And that's going to impact your ability to burn fat as fuel. So how do we do the carb macro in a way that, that is doable and sustainable? Well, it, it's really quite easy. And with the OFM protocol, what we do with your carb macro is we don't count non-starchy vegetables and non-starchy fruits you eat like vegetables. So what does that look like? It means that you don't have to count your, your leafy greens, the kind of stuff you use as the base for your salad. Um, you don't have to count things like kale, uh, mustard greens, um, your cruciferous vegetables like cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts. Don't have to count them. Um, non-starchy fruits you eat like vegetables squashes like zucchini um, yellow squash acorn squashes those summer squashes that don't have a lot of carbohydrates we're talking about avocado we're talking about things like tomatoes uh, eggplant don't bother counting them i also suggest that you don't have to worry so much about most of your root vegetables things like cooked carrots um, beets certainly as long as you don't have these in copious amounts, you're going to be fine. And, and so why is this? Why do we not have to count these? Because everybody wants you to count. You know, in keto, it's, it's crucial you count your carbs. Well, it's because our bodies don't work by numbers. Our digestive system doesn't work that way. So if your digestive system is working fine and you're able to eat these things comfortably and enjoyably, um, it's not going to matter because when you take in your food, the acid in your stomach starts the breakdown process. Some of the bacteria, fungi, and archaea in your stomach and small intestine also start that breakdown process. But because those carbs are bound up in this matrix of fluid, water with minerals, with fiber, and, and all the other elements that these non-starchy vegetables and fruits as you eat as vegetables contain, um, what happens is those carbohydrates don't get out right away in your stomach and small intestine and transit the stomach and gut barrier into your bloodstream. They end up in your colon, still bound up in this matrix of, of water and fiber and minerals. And then the biome, the bacteria, the fungi, the archaea in your colon are going to break down that food matter and most of that carbohydrate actually winds up as a fatty acid because of the bacterial breakdown. So when you really understand how your digestive system works, it doesn't matter. You don't need to count these things. So that's a very easy tip and takes a whole lot of stress and worry about what you got to eat. So when you're in that hard reset phase or a recovery phase, or a mini reset phase, that's all you need to eat. That's all you need to look for. You don't need to start counting these things because it really doesn't matter. And in terms of, of the real world, you can't eat enough of these to where you're going to go over. And even if you did go over, say, 30 or 50 grams a day, it's still not going to wind up transiting into your bloodstream and affecting your blood sugar in such a way that it's going to disrupt not only your blood sugar, but your hormonal balance that's needed to, to de deal with your blood sugar. So this is a very easy and quick tip that you can use to get your body back to burning fat as your fuel with OFM. Thank you.